Those pants are tight. Hello and welcome back to another player profile and projection here on Talking Yanks, where we're giving you an episode a day, every day until opening day. And today we're talking about Tommy Canely, reliever extraordinaire, old man in the bullpen. Top dog, maybe. Jake, your thoughts on Tommy Canely? Tommy Canely, man. A ball of energy. Uh, he's been... How far back has he been a part of our lives now? Well, he was in the minor leagues with the Yankees for a while. Um, Traded back for him in 17. 2017. Some some link this show to 2017. Um, man, the young guy that came over with D-Rob and Todd that... Everyone then was like, actually, he's like, he's the asset. <laughs> he's he's who he, they traded for. He's the yeah. arm who they're going to be keeping for a couple years. They did uh, with some highs and lows. Uh, and then he returns uh, after a quick pit stop with the, in rehab with the Dodgers. And he puts together an interesting, comma, good season with the Yankees last year with kind of a meltdown period that a lot of Yankee fans are wondering, what do I do with this? Like, I... I guess for myself, James, I was able to bottle this up in last year's poop season. And, you know, relievers also have bad stretches that I was just kind of like, yeah, that was bad, but I, I don't know. He's Tommy Canely, right? And then, I, I don't know, I guess a lot of people I've talked with in the office and other Yankee fans uh, I, were borderline out on Tommy Canely coming into the season. So where, where are you at? Well, screw those people. Hmm. I looked at it, and I found something that I don't like. Okay. Um, but it wasn't his bad stretch last year. I actually looked at his uh, game log, mm. and I came away thinking, what's everyone's big fucking deal? Right. 42 games he appeared in, and he pitched, and he allowed earned runs in seven of them. And one of them, he still got the hold. So six out mm. of 42 appearances we 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 said uh oh, Tommy now then I dug deeper right and I found out that Tommy Canley was absolutely awful last year when he didn't start the inning clean mm. <laughs> when he was on the Yanks prior they didn't do all this business they do now and man was he not good, especially when he had inherited runners? He was the second worst pitcher in all of Major League Baseball in 2023 at inherited runners scoring percentage. 89% of the time they scored. Craig Kimbrell was worse than him, and his was one. He, inher he, he inherited one runner, and he let that runner score once. That guy scored. And that, that puts Craig Kimbrell terrible. Tommy Canely inherited nine runners. Eight of them scored. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah. That's maybe something we put into our brains. Yeah. And put, avoid next put year. Put that on a future boom question list because that's... Mm. What do you do with that? Because you should do something with that. You should do something with that. You know, there's going to be... You can't live a, a life of never being able to come in with an inherited runner, but that's also... We've seen them... Someone like Lou Trevino, make sure his PPP could be interesting. Make sure, like, God, we've seen them lean into guys that are good with inheriting runners on base. Like, we've literally seen them trade for guy. He's good at this. We use him in the middle of the inning. We've seen them use a guy. That season, they've been good with inherited runners. He becomes their inherited runner, guys. Tommy gave you a nice little sample last year. Let's give him a clean sheet. Yeah. He entered the game 36 times with the bases empty. And I and I believe a lot of those times were pretty good. Mm. I'd have to like I think one I have one to make my in I'd there, have to but... make my own excel sheet right. and really crunch the numbers which now I want to do which is crazy. Can't do it. Um, kind of just surprised. Like there was a time in his first stint with the Yankees. I feel like he he had years where he was our fireman guy. Those let's look at past. Let's look at those seven times he gave up an earned run. Okay. Oh no. No, it'll be easy this way. So okay. one time it was bases empty, bases empty, bases empty, bases empty, bases empty, and when he gave up three 
earned against the Nationals, he came in with uh, a runner on. So, I mean, I just docked another one. Now we're like five out of 43. Right. Did fine. He did run into that stretch that was bad, which um, I think you got to have the office people look at because it's not as bad as I think they remember. It just felt terrible because I think he just got change up happy, and that's what he said in his post game. Like, I guess I can't just throw only that. Yeah, it was a really interesting discussion because his change up usage last year went up to 75%, which is pretty wild because uh, then it's you're questioning the name of a change up. Um, but 75% change-ups from Tommy. And, yeah, a couple of those post games were really funny because he was like, it's like I, you know, have had a good season throwing this pitch, and if I got beat throwing my fastball, you guys would be saying, why didn't you throw your change-up? So it's a little chicken in the egg there. But, yeah, I, I guess for me that part of the season that um, a lot of Yankee fans kind of – let them feel. I don't know if maybe that was the Yankees' like last fight for the season, like end of July, that they were that maybe that's why they felt it more. But I mean, Tommy's numbers last year are pretty, pretty damn good. Man, remember when I asked Boone about this yeah. and he said that it's not made me think I was crazy? The Yankees last year had the third fewest relievers entering with bases empty. Right. In all of baseball. So, Tommy Canley didn't appreciate it. Doesn't like it. Relievers like to have an inning. He wants to go down with his own ship, you know? They were fifth most bringing a reliever in and, and with a base runner on, inheriting base runners. I don't like My fear is the Yankees hear you say those two things and say, oh, so we weren't like the most extreme. Yeah, three, team, three teams were did it worse than us. So, we're going to bounce back. I mean, they were fifth in inherited runners scoring percentage or sixth, and the teams worse than them, Royals, Rockies, A's, Angels, Padres. Bad. So, again, not fully about. Canley was good with inherited runners in 2019. It's a lifetime ago. Go Canley, go. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I needed to hear that, man. Dude, I feel like I've been taking crazy pills. I, a lot of people that I talked Yankees with were yes. like, Are, we're, we're going to trade Canely this offseason, right? And I was like, no. What? Why? Like, Canely could be our best eighth inning option a week into the season. Um, so, I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm glad to be hearing this because, uh, I don't know, Tommy Tight Pants' is energy. Remember when that was the first time we, like, <laughs> That was the first time we we got comments on the Yankees being, like, sad. They're like, we miss Tommy's energy. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Come on. No, his whiff percentage was right there. uh, Still, like, the same as his dominant years. His put-away numbers were a little down, but not crazy down. And, like, his expected numbers were good. Yeah. just ran into a bad stretch. Yankees don't. Talk to their players anyways, but they're not telling Tommy Canley to do anything different. I am getting so upset. Okay. Looking at this relief pitching chart, which I did at the same this right. time, very last year. This happened. Games the pitcher pitched in more than one inning. Yankees were fourth most in all of baseball. Hanging out with the A's, the Reds, what? the Tigers, and the Cardinals. Bad Stop teams. doing it. Give your relievers an inning. Bad teams. Yeah, the the other thing that, again, might might be fault for Tommy Canley's critiques is maybe he started too good. His first 16 games were clean, 15.1 innings shut. Their counter is like our bullpen's great. Best bullpen ERA in all of baseball. It's yeah. like, okay, fine. But you could still do that without the other stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, you could do in that. In theory. So you could be the best yeah. by more. In theorem. <sighs> Where's Matt Blake? He likes us. We know this. Yeah, we do know this. Matt Blake smiled at me when in meetings. Um, go with Canely. Go. Um, is he our go-to left? Okay. How about this? Mm-hmm. Seventh inning. Rafael Devers. Without looking up the stats. Okay, I'm not looking them up. Is Tommy Canely the guy you'd want the most? 
because it's... I mean, I got to see the Ferg in action. You want to see the Ferg? Don't you? Well, I think it's reverse splits, though. Well, but so is those Kane are Lee, just splits. And those are just splits. Yeah. Canely was... I would like Canely to be... Uh, doesn't matter. And credit... This is his inning. Credit to him, dude. He was Gross versus righties last year. Uh, Tommy Canely versus right-handed batters last year. 191 batting average of 583 OPS. He was better versus righties than lefties. Devers, five at-bats, only one hit versus Canely. So, yeah. No need. Yeah, dude. Why don't you bring in... Uh, Jake said without looking it up. You say Teoscar Hernandez. Maybe I think something... Maybe I think something else. And Canely, Canely had his season delayed last year. He didn't start till June. Was yeah. that bicep? What it was, was weird that? injuries mm-hmm. that they just kept being like, oh, actually, a, a week more now. They really kept us, like... On the hook there with him. So, all right, just give us a full pitch all year. Pitch all year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That dress. Bicep tendonitis. God. Pays. Pays to be as good as you are. Jim. DraftKings Sportsbook. They pay. Synced it. And if you get in on their NBA action currently, you can make a bet. Up to a thousand bucks, and you cannot sweat that bet. Because if you get it wrong, you get the bonus bet back up to a thousand bucks in the amount of your original bet. That's with promo code Yanks. They've got their DraftKings daily fantasy stuff for shots to win cash prizes there. So download the DraftKings Sports app now. New customers use promo code Yanks. Get a no sweat bet. That's promo code Yanks only at the DraftKings Sportsbook. The crown is yours. You got an over-under for this, cat. You got a random video? I'll get a random video. Over-under, 69.5% change-up usage. Uh, let's Can see. Can I tell you what I'm doing? It was, uh, what are you doing? I'm hammering the over. You are. He was 75% last year. That was down from 77 the year before. Was that a full season? The Throw year before, that- I think he got... Like four that was games. that was his that was his Dodgers taster season. I want that changeup. Throw that good pitch. In 2019, he was 65 percent, and 20 or in 2019 he was 52 percent. I'm taking the under, man. Your fastball's good. It sits 95 and a half miles per hour. Oh, I've got him at 70 on the nose. So, uh, I'm taking the under. Okay. And, like, he's throwing a sinker and a slider last year. Looks like a total of 54, 52 sinkers and sliders. Right. No. Make those fastballs. Okay. Just get them out. 70-30. I, I got a random video coming. Random video coming. Ah, uh, will be shit. random. And his baseball reference projection... And a 33% reliability, which that's so ridiculous. This is random videos from 2008, May 26, and it's a Whoa. ball. I don't like that. But is it a, a productive 2018? ball? Well, it's a 3 1 count, so I don't think so. Dude. But we'll have to watch oh, the guys, first I'm base is open. Third, dude. First like base he's setting is, up. Yeah, right. He okay. hates runners. All right. You got to 3 1 anyway. Oh, and, it's and he swung. swung. And he swung. Phil Cuzzy behind the dish. It's like catcher's Come interference. On. Rosselsberger comes out. Rothschild is what I meant to say. Roethlisberger? I had the Roth, and I just... The Roth. He just looks like he's from Pittsburgh. Remember we bet, met Ben Roethlisberger? Uh, May 26th. I do remember that. May 26th, 2018. Think? Let's see if he got out of that inning. What happened? I don't think so. It seems like a hairy situation. Fuck. It doesn't look good. Jim. It doesn't look good for our guy. Sonny Gray started. Hmm. Aha. Okay, well, so Kainley came in. Walk. Fielder's choice, safe on E4. Okay. So we're unearned. Um, then Trout doubled, and yeah. then Chris Young walked, and then Pujol singled, and then Shohei hit a ground ball double play. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, Eden oh, Shohei. Freak. Oh. Seeing the World Series. Wow. Oh, Tony rolls it over. Oh, Yanks lost the game 11-4. Sonny Gray to Jonathan Holder, Tommy Canely, Jason Shreve, and A.J. Cole. Oh, my bullpen. 
with a lineup of Brett Gardner, Aaron Judge, Didi Gregorius, Giancarlo Stan, Gary Sanchez, Greg Bird, Miguel Andujar, and Austin Romine, Glaber Torres. Mm. It's good shit, man. Good stuff. I nice Sarah Glaber. We blew that one. Loser. Damn. Under. Go, Tommy, go, best, Tommy, Tom. go, Tommy, Tommy, go. Tommy, tight pants. Go, Tommy, go. Former guest. Go, Tommy, go. Been on this show. Come Veteran back. in the pen. Our age. Ish. Oldest guy in the pen by four years. That's nuts. That's unfair. Crazy. Lou closes the gap. Only an ace. Um. Exclusive. And thanks for subscribing. Collab. <laughs>